we open on our protagonist, Brent Mitchell, and his dad starring in a PSA about how smoking kills. <laughs> After the accident, Brent falls into a life of drugs, depression, and baggy cargo pants. Lola Stone, not the most popular girl in school, asks him to prom. No thanks. Brent and his girlfriend Holly get in the back of Holly's car and start a backseat rodeo, while Lola is first in line to their big and rich concert. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Brent climbs a cliff for no apparent reason and stops halfway to climax. He finishes pulling himself off, I mean up, and takes a breather. We learn our girl Lola didn't handle rejection too well, and did what any obsessed teenage girl would do. She got her dad to kidnap Brent to torture him into being her prom king. Holly and Brent's mom, Carla, sent something is wrong and called the sheriff. With Brent now bound to a chair at Lola's kitchen table, Lola's father, Eric, and mother, Bright Eyes, join them for a prom dinner. With help from her father, Looney, Lola then injects bleach into Brent's neck to singe his vocal cords. Oh no! Oh! They take some cute prom photos together. We learn the Stones is our good old fashioned milk with dinner kind of family. Lola tries to feed Brent a chicken drumstick, but he's more of a white meat man. This scene is a little too graphic for the kids. Brent breaks free and scurries up a tree. Lola and Eric pelt him with rocks to get him down. They detain Brent, and Lola flips through a scrapbook she made of the numerous other victims they captured. She then treats Brent like an old willow and romantically carves her initials on his chest, throwing a little salt confetti on the wound in celebration. In a shocking upset, the only girl at prom officially wins prom queen. Sadly, Lola decides she is no longer attracted to Brent. Brent starts cutting himself free as Eric and Lola begin watering their cellar. In case you thought this couldn't get any more radical, Lola prepares to lobotomize Brent by drilling into his skull to pour in boiling water. In the nick of time, Brent frees himself and stabs Eric and knocks out Lola. He pushes Eric into the cellar and sees the lobotomized past victims feast on the body. Lola resurrects and shoves Brent in too, closing the door leaving Brent to fear the walking dead. Brent kills the ex-boyfriends, Holly only now making herself useful remembering Brent rejecting Lola's proposal informs the sheriff of a possible motive. The sheriff investigates the Stones' property and sees a bloodbath. Lola cleavers the pig's head and three hundreds him into the cellar. Brent grabs the sheriff's gun and starts firing. He builds a meat mountain and climbs the bodies to get out of the cellar. He starts driving back home to stop Lola from killing his mom and girlfriend. He clips Lola and saves the day, giving him lots of time to enjoy the rest of his weekend. If you're a fan of messy cellars, a couple of hicks performing neurosurgical therapy, or just think that milk is the best beverage for prom, then this movie's for you.